Hello lovely Cancers, here is your Cancer August Tarot reading. I'm Sonia Parker and this is the Spiritual Centre. Um, just a short reading this month, I have a lot going on for myself personally, but I still wanted to be able to give you a reading. So what can you expect for the month of August? As always, I've pulled a general card for the month ahead using the Chakra Wisdom Oracle Deck and then your Tarot card reading as well. Please can I ask you to like, comment and share and subscribe to the channel. So what's in store for you Cancers in August? Well the overall card for the month ahead is bittersweet and it has the blue edge in. Blue relates to the throat chakra and how you express yourself, how you communicate. And I do feel this month one door is about to close but around this you have more strength than you realize there is an inner strength coming to the surface to help with you deal what is in your pathway this month and this is about rising above the physicality of life i do apologize for the outside noises that are going on and i do feel you'll be helping others as well it's putting your own personal agenda to one side because someone needs you there is healing coming for you this month um, and you might receive unexpected news as well. And there are hidden blessings for you that are all the things that you're going through right now. And I do feel as one door closes, a window opens for you and lets in new light. So it's not as though one door is going to close and another opens. It's going to close but a window is going to allow more light through. And I do feel here with the throat chakra as well, we don't always get what we ask for. We get who we are reflected back to us in the world around us. Okay, so let's have a look at what advice the tarot can give you as well. So Cancers, what guidance can a tarot give you for the month of August? We have the Knight of Wands, your obstacles. It's come out a couple of times this month. Is the Five of Wands? Wow! And the Ten of Wands is your final outcome. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Strength card. Doesn't want to stay there. There you go. Okay. So what do you need to do? What do you need to think about? I think embrace the situation is the thing that I'm getting the most. With all of the one suit, it's about passion. Um, it's fire. Also, the strength card is the sign for Leo, and that's fire as well. So there's, there's a lot of that passion. That I want to look at the base chakra as well here, because I feel that this is about you actually taking control, taking charge. Um, I feel that other people could be making decisions for you. I'm not sure if that come out in the first bit. But I feel that other people could be making decisions for you. And this is you taking charge. You need to take control. The obstacles you might face is other people might oppose you. Other people might not understand why you're doing what you're doing or choosing what you've chosen. But this is your journey and this is your decision. Um, there is no going back. One door opens. I feel that what you need to be careful of this month is that you don't take on too much. Because I feel that if we look at the card at the end, there he is all wounded. Your strength is going to come from stepping back from situations and your strength is going to come from... Um, Delegation. Delegation is a good word. So delegate things to other people. Get your strength from the animal kingdom as well. I think because I've come out in nature under my willow tree, which again is spiritual, It's it, there's so much wisdom that comes from the trees. And I feel that this is something that's 
nature is going to play a big part in your journey this month. I want you to look out for the 18th of August as being an important date for you as well. Well, bless you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please let me know in the comments. Please like and share. As one door closes, a window will open so the light is coming in. Spirit are going to guide you as well. Um, I do give away a free personal reading on my website every month. So pop over to thespiritualcenter.net, subscribe to the newsletter, and you could be in with a chance of winning that as well. Bless you for watching. Have a lovely month.